In this video, we will demonstrate two ways to utilize the WirePro's new ability to insert existing PDF floor plans onto the background of your project. The first method we will show you is how to quickly add a PDF floor plan uh, to your project background so we can simply just draw over top of it. And to do that, we're just going to go over to our floor plan properties. And at the bottom here, we have this option to browse to add a page background image. And so from here, we have the option to choose a PDF file. We're just going to choose one here. And just so you know, uh, under this file type option, you also have the option to insert a JPEG uh, or a PNG file format too as well. So we'll just choose this uh, test floor plan we have here. And as soon as we hit OK, what it's going to do is the WirePro's um, project is going to adjust its page size uh, according to the PDF file. So in this case, our PDF file uh, is actually an 8.5 by 11. And once your PDF file is inserted in the background, uh, it is locked in place, so you don't have to worry about accidentally selecting it and moving it around. And at this point, you can begin to immediately add uh, any symbols that you want over the top of this PDF file in the background. Uh, before we get started, we want to adjust a few settings first. Um, when we bring in this PDF file, we don't know uh, what ratio, scale ratio is designed in. And we have a new tool in the WirePro to help us figure this out. Um, this is our scale ratio calculator tool. Um, so in this PDF file, you'll notice we have uh, dimensions already printed on the file. In the garage, it says 21 by 21. What we're going to do is we're going to zoom in here. And a shortcut to do this, uh, if you hold in the Z button on your keyboard, and then just drag to an area you want to zoom to, and then let go, it'll zoom right into that area. And so we want to go over here to the, to the Start the Calculator tool. And what we do here is just enter the reference distance. So in this case, we're going to reference 21 feet. And just hit Start. And then we're going to go over to this far wall. And we're just going to left click. And then we're going to drag to the other side of the wall here. And then click. And then it's saying, would you like to change the project scale ratio to this value? And we'll go ahead and choose yes. And so now any symbols such as uh, if you were to bring in walls, windows, and doors, and things like that, they would be adjusted to this new scale ratio. And one more setting we're going to check before we uh, begin is we're going to go ahead and pan over um, to the far left side of the page. And to do this panning, all I'm simply doing is I'm holding in the mouse scroll wheel button while I drag, and this allows me to just quickly pan across the page. And we're going to click on our uh, floor plan ruler here. And then we're going to go over to the properties, and at the bottom we're just going to double check. Uh, I want to keep my tick increment set for one inch. And you'll notice if uh, I zoom in close here that it's snapping at one inch increments. And to change this, all you have to do is just enter, if you want to enter, like say, four inches, set increment, and you can see that the snapping is now larger here. So we're going to go back to one inch. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom out here. Now we're pretty much ready to just begin adding any symbols that we want uh, in this area here. Um, so in our floor plan project. We can zoom into this living room area. I can go to the power section, just add a new circuit. And I'm just going to choose uh, the common power here so it just displays uh, the most common power symbols. And so we have receptacles, switches, outlets, lights. Uh, you can just begin adding these uh, directly to your um, project here over this PDF file. Uh, in this case, you'll notice that my um, symbol is quite large here. Uh, to adjust this, all I need to do is simply go over to this um, uh, scroll bar here and just adjust it to the size that I like. Uh, and then when I start placing the symbols, anytime I place a new symbol now, um, those symbols will be adjusted to that scale ratio. And so we'll just throw in a couple outlets. And we got a couple along this wall. And uh, just to let you know, uh, we now have a feature. All you have to do is uh, click uh, or press the R button on the keyboard, and it'll automatically rotate your symbol. Um, just makes it easier to place them on the screen. And it's going to rotate them to the value that's set over here on the properties, uh, referred to as the keyboard R offset value. So if we set it to 45 or 180 or 190, or sorry, 90 here, you'll notice that it's just going to rotate um, accordingly. So it just makes it easier for being able to adjust those. Now, in, um, on another method we're going to show you when we uh, go to actually add the walls in the Wire Pro, um, any of our symbols will automatically rotate to the walls um, that are actually drawn from within the Wire Pro. 
and unclick any symbol. I'm just going to right click here and uh, unselect that. Uh, now what I want to do is I just want to show you another method. Uh, here we're going to go ahead and trace this floor plan, a good portion of it, just to give you an idea of what we can do. Uh, since we already set it to uh, the scale ratio uh, based on this particular PDF file, um, we can now just begin to lay our walls and windows and doors right over top of this. So if you want to go ahead and convert the whole project into the Wire Pro, we can do that. So I want to go over here to my walls, windows, and doors. And under the walls, I'm going to select uh, this draw a stud wall. We have two options here. We have uh, just a regular wall. If I were to just click one, it's just going to do a wall section here. Uh, so we'll just delete that. And so we want to go ahead and draw it. Um, so we're going to choose this draw at 45 degree angles. And then over on the walls, I'm just going to set it to, it's already set for the 6 inch, uh, six inches here. We can change the wall size if we want down to 4 inches. We're going to leave it here at 6. And I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to start by clicking in this corner. And my wall begins to follow uh, my cursor here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, the same way I was panning, I'm going to hold in the mouse scroll wheel button. And I'm going to drag. And my wall is still uh, running here. So we don't actually lose the effect of uh, being able to work with that symbol. So all I'm doing is dragging all the way to this corner. And I'm going to click. Now I begin drawing a new wall section. Uh, with this particular wall section, it's nice. It just allows us to just keep going. Uh, so we're just going to click another wall section here. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of this next section. Let's just go to here and then click over. Uh, now in this part here, you'll notice something different. Uh, now when I click my wall section, whoop, there. Uh, you'll see here it's uh, on the other side here on the wall. Uh, the way to fix this is uh, you'll notice that uh, little tip that popped up. It says select ending point uh, and F5 to flip the wall. So I just hit F5. You'll notice it just flips the other side. And so we can keep drawing without having to stop here and draw a new wall. Okay, and the same thing on this side here. I'm going to pan over a little bit. And I just hit F5 while I'm drawing and just uh, quickly adjust that wall for me. And go right to the end here. And then just right click to unselect the wall. And my wall is still selected. I have to right click again um, to completely disable the wall. But I'm going to keep it going because I just want to go uh, to some more walls here. And I'm just going to keep drawing walls. So I'm going to hit F5 again. Go to the edge here. Right click. And I'm going to go to this wall section. I'm going to go over at F5. Draw. I'm going to go all the way up to this section here. Hit F5 again. And let's go down to this wall and go all the way to the top here. So as you can see, this just makes it really easy to be able to trace right over your existing uh, floor plan if you want to have uh, all the walls, windows, and doors into the Wire Pro. So we just continue on doing this uh, through the rest of the floor plan. Um, and you get really uh, good going around doing this. Um, it literally will just take you a matter of a couple minutes to do this. So here I'll zoom out. Hold down Control and press 1, and that's just going to zoom out to my entire page. And you've just seen that we've just traced most of the floor plan here. We just have a little bit of the garage left to do. So I'm just going to zoom in, press my Z on my keyboard, hold that in, and drag to this area. I'm going to just trace this one last section here. Select my wall again. Hit F5. Okay, at any point that you want a thicker wall, you'll notice this, this one part of the wall is a little thicker. We can click on that wall and simply uh, by going to the size section, uh, we can just go up to like say 8 inch. Um, you can go, we have a, a bunch of presets here for you also. Okay, so we have most of our wall sections drawn. All right, and now what we want to do is we have some uh, doors and windows to add in here, but you'll notice that uh, um, we can't quite see um, the full outline of the doors and the windows. Um, and we do have an option here. Um, if you go up to Options, all walls are filled. If we uncheck that, uh, Control W is the shortcut key. So if we uncheck that, um, now what we're left with is a wireframe of our walls. And so we can actually see uh, where our windows are starting and stopping. And same with our doors. Now we have some preset uh, doors, the left and right handed doors. Uh, but the option that we want to use here is we want to go to this uh, freehand custom size. And what this lets us do is literally draw the door 
uh, width in here. So we're going to click where this door starts here and I'm going to just drag down to where it ends and then it's going to tell me this is the size we're working with. Uh, we can choose to adjust the thickness here as well and I just hit OK. And now my door is the width that we have here. And if I have any of the others that are the same size, I can just click those in at the same time. But we have another door that's uh, positioned differently. So I'm going to draw this one in here as well. Hit OK. And then click in there and it'll cut the door out for me. And same thing with the windows. So on the windows we have the option of a free hand. Literally just click and just drag. This one's just a standard 24 inch. And we'll keep the thickness as 6 inches. You can adjust this as well. If we were on 4 inch walls you'd probably want to change that. And we just pop that in there. And this looks like it's the same size. We're going to use that same window. And we'll just go along and we'll just do one more window here. And we'll go here, start, and our end point. And here we go. And so we'll continue doing this uh, for our inside doors and windows on the outside here. And then when we're done, we just simply hit Control W again. And then your uh, walls are back to being filled. And one thing you'll notice is my, my walls are actually red. Uh, and one thing you want, might want to do first is when you go to select your wall, um, change your color. Go ahead and adjust the color to a color that's going to be something other than black just so it shows up while you're outlining it. If it was black, uh, it would be pretty hard to see where you're drawing and, and what's behind that there. But by changing that to red, we can s clearly see that over the top of our existing PDF file. And so uh, by zooming out here, when we're done, we have an option of changing uh, everything to black. If we want to just right click, we have this option to select all. Um, we can select all objects by type. So if I wanted to just change the walls, I could select those. You notice just my walls are selected. I can change the color of that. But in this case, we want to select everything. We want our walls, windows, and doors to be all the same color. So I'm going to just select all and then just change the color to black. And then at this point, uh, if we're finished with the background uh, PDF, I can go over to the bottom here and I can choose to uncheck that so it's not visible anymore. Now it is still a part of my diagram so if I need to use it again I can click that uh, back on and so you, you might notice here that we have some text objects that would be nice to add in there and we can simply do that. I'll show you here real quick. Go to the drawing tools and under text I'm just going to draw a text box and then I'm going to click on it here and go down I'm going to set my outline, or I'm going to set it to where it's not filled, it's transparent. And I'm going to change this to bedroom. And we have 11 foot by 11 foot. And then just apply the changes and size that how I want it. And then now I can simply just control C and control V for copy and paste. Um, and then I can just go through and just adjust these text objects. I got living, we'll go 18 foot by 15 foot. Okay, so just continue doing that and adding in um, any of the, the other symbols that you might want to add on your, your uh, bathtubs, sinks, uh, toilets, and things like that. And once you've added your walls, windows, and doors uh, in the Wire Pro, uh, you can easily lock these objects uh, by clicking on this walls, windows, and doors section and we just press locked and that way we don't have to worry about when we're moving things uh, accidentally moving uh, any of the wall or window objects and then we could go back down here and take our PDF file off the back and we can see our general outline that we were working on here so we hope you find this uh, feature with the PDF file uh, importing as uh, being beneficial to you and just making uh, designing your projects a lot faster and smoother whether you just want to uh, quickly lay your electrical over top of an existing floor plan that was already created and submitted to you uh, or if you want to just go ahead and uh, completely um, bring the whole entire floor plan into the Wire Pro using all of our objects uh, and then save that project you can uh, certainly do that as well. Uh, in another video we'll go into some more detail on just laying out and working with uh, the electrical circuits I mean, it'll draw a full uh, circuit for you and just to see how the different objects work uh, with our wiring and stuff as well.
And one last thing, uh, just to show you, we do have the ability to insert uh, several different types of graphic objects. So if you want different things like wire labels, uh, we have different shapes, uh, furniture, a whole list of different things that you can add in there. Um, as well as uh, if you want to add what we refer to as smart blocks, um, you can insert a smart block, which in this case is like a legend. We have here a text block uh, in portrait mode. And so here we see we have a block that's been created as a template. And we could just scale this down to the size that we want. And to edit this, all we simply do is just double click on it, or you can click over here in the property menu. If we double click, we have access to the smart block editor. Uh, here we have a picture uh, of a logo. We can just double click that. We can add a, uh, something of, of our own logo here. And then any of these uh, text fields that you want to change, just simply double click in there, uh, change your text, and hit OK. And then you can also save that block uh, as a new block, um, so it's uh, your own custom block that you can continue using over and over. And then just hit OK when you're done, and there you have it. And thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our other videos on working with the Residential Wire Pro.